Hello, Bob here, and today I would like to share with you a contraption uh, that allows to keep information in uh, Schalke boxes or minecart with chests. Um, the way it's set up at the moment is that we can store uh, packets of eight pieces of information, uh, which is indicated here by the lamps. And um, here we have, for example, a Schalke box with some information. This rep represents on, off, or like a one zero um, this is like the first packet here then we have a second and a third packet so like three times eight bits of information and we can put this here in the um, Schalke box into the uh, barrel and um, start the machine um, one major important thing here and um, that's also why the machine is so big is that um, uh, one part is that it's getting packaged, that we have always eight pieces of information at a time. Um, but also it's a little bit bigger the, because um, the items are then in the end uh, put back into the Schalke box in the same order. So all the information can be reused. Um, so whenever the uh, data package is ready, the uh, lamp here will turn on like so. And... Um, yeah, this way we can read it out. So this was the first package on off on off on off on off. And if we stop reading it, um, the system then will process the next package. Here again, data is ready. And we have the second row of information here. there it is okay so after this is done the uh, Schalke box is reassembled should happen here somewhere yeah I think it happened already there it is and we can reuse it if we want to to uh, process this information again um, another thing is what we can do as was well with this type of um, um, unloader we can also use a minecart to have even more information and also those are then put back in the right order into the minecart with chest um, so i maybe can also demonstrate that so if we send in the minecart here um, we can also start the process the uh, shulker boxes and um, in the end the shulker boxes will end up in the minecart the same order as they arrived before uh, you may ask why is that useful <laughs> this whole thing um, I think there are plenty of uses for it but um, one would be for example to um, store pictures um, in these minecarts with chests I have for example here set up three pictures and a display um, this display by the way is not done by me it was uh, provided by a user named angry salmon from the OR server and uh, he allowed me to use it in the video. Um, yeah, but we have the same contraption here. And um, this is just to show also one use case. Um, the only difference is, is uh, that we, um, instead of switching a lever here when we want to read data, we have a repeater here. So whenever data is ready, immediately this is then processed. Um, here we have a control line telling the display that more information is coming and then we have all the eight bits of information here um, the data itself going into the display all right so let's um, um, process here another package uh, so the key pictures at the moment here for example let's go for the monster picture um, So it's now processing the um, Schalker boxes and it will, will take a while. So it's not the fastest system, I would say. Um, but what I like about it is that um, it's quite compact. Um, so this whole display, which um, um, can be con controlled with only three Schalker boxes inside the chest. So we could actually have a much bigger display, for example, um, if we wanted to. So now slowly the data, the new data will come in from the bottom and the old data will um, 
phase out in the top. While this is running, we can go back to the first contraption here. I mean, it's the same contraption, but like the first one. Ah, yeah, here. Yeah, okay, so now we here we need to always manually um, process the data, um, but we can also just put in a repeater here, and then data is automatically processed. Yeah, generally the system works by using any kind of an unstackable and a water bottle as an unstackable. On the back here we have a water bottle filter. So uh, everything else is interpreted as a on signal, as a one. And the water bottles are registered as a zero. They will go down this way. And then in the end, um, everything is um, reassembled here. Okay, so um, I think almost also the no the picture is done. No, almost. No, now it is done. All right, so here's the monster. Um, yeah, and the um, important part is that the information here is kept, so that means that we can reuse these um, um, minecarts as we wish. For example, if we want to bring back the first picture key, we can just hook up this um, box again and... Uh, That way we can store information. Another use case would be, um, that's actually what I want to use it for, it's not a display, but uh, to have a program memory. I'm working currently on a CPU in Minecraft and uh, it would be nice to have different apps um, that you can run on the computer. And one way of um, storing the information, the programs would be such a, such a system. Um, since quite... Um, it's quite a dense store, so each uh, box can hold three bytes, uh, so you can have uh, 81 bytes of information in one of these chest minecarts. All right, while this is processing, this one is also still running. I think there's not too much more to say, I think, about the system. Uh, what I will do is just uh, show you here for the first one that the order is maintained. Maybe you can remember that. Um, yeah, so... Or you can believe it uh, in that case as well. Um, so here we will get the key picture back. I will just forward now the video a little bit so that you can see that the first picture is now coming back. So that means also the information in these minecarts is preserved. Thank you very much for watching and take care and bye-bye. Uh, Oh, and also if you want to download, of course, a map and uh, use it, um, it should be in the video description. Take care and bye-bye. Let's do also the smiley picture as a bonus.